baddies welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new today i'm back with another story time and today i'm gonna be telling you guys about the time a client brought their dog to their appointment and caused chaos in my studio i know it's been a minute since i uploaded i really really did miss you guys but i'm back This is your first time coming across my channel i do include voiceovers on all my videos whether it's a girl talk or story time so if you don't want to hear me talking you might want to click on another video but for my ogs y'all already know the drill now i don't like long intros so we're just gonna jump right into this so earlier this month i had a first time client book with me through dms so it's the day of her appointment and she texts me asking if it was possible that i can push her appointment back an hour which i couldn't because my schedule was full so i'm telling her you know unfortunately i can't i can squeeze you in tomorrow or i can reschedule you reschedule you for a later day she's like well i can't push the the day back because i'm going on vacation tomorrow i just need another hour because i need to pick up my child now before y'all judge me i did change my policy where all my clients are now allowed to bring one guest as long as they let me know beforehand so i allow her to come to her appointment with her child so she arrives at my house and as we're getting settled in i noticed she's carrying what looks like a pet carrier but i don't see a child with her so in my head i'm like that's weird maybe she changed her mind or dropped off her child somewhere i don't know but i didn't pay it any mind because i was also running low on time and i was more so focused on getting started on her nails so once i get started on her nails and everything at the corner of my eye i see her bag move now i didn't know if i was tripping if it was a rat in my studio or what so i'm staring at it for a good three seconds trying to see what was going on and all of a sudden she tells me casually like Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you I brought my dog. At this moment, y'all, so many thoughts are running through my mind at once at this point. And then it finally clicks to me that she was referring to her dog as her child. Mind y'all, she don't even know if I'm allergic to pets or anything. So for her to just casually show up to her appointment with her pet, I found that to be very disrespectful. So I tell her, like, I don't allow any pets here. I'm going to have to cancel your appointment for today and you can reschedule for another time or a later date. So when I said that, things took a huge turn. It's like she took what I said to offense. She starts raising her voice and she's like, what do you mean my child isn't allowed here? When I go to other nail shops, they're perfectly fine with me bringing my dog with no complaints. I take a deep breath and I'm like, ma'am, you informed me of picking up a child. I didn't know you were talking about your pet because that isn't even allowed and you go to a nail shop to get your nails done a public service of course they're allowed of course they're gonna allow that but once you book with an at-home nail tech an at-home stylist and at home makeup artist anybody that's in their private home you're now in their private space so whatever rules they set you have to respect that and that's what a lot of you guys fail to realize if you feel the need to not comply with your text policies you need to just stick to going to your local nail shops where they're more lenient towards most things. So as we're going back and forth, I guess the dog felt uncomfortable and suddenly starts barking so aggressively because, you know, dogs could sense emotions and energy, I feel, and they tend to react off that. So she tries to calm, she tries to calm her dog down and unzips the pet carrier. And when she does that, the dog automatically runs out the bag, starts running around my entire studio, and knocks over my entire nail station. So let me just break this part down for you guys. So before my client had came, I was in the process of refilling my nail products. So I had my monomer bottle open. I think I also had my acetone open, as well as a few of my acrylics that were also half open because I was in the process of swatching acrylic prior to her coming. So just imagine all my powders tipped over on my carpet, the carpet soaked with acetone and monomer, like i'm telling y'all my entire room smelled like chemicals not only that but because she's trying so hard not to mess up her nails because i had finished laying the acrylic on a few of her nails before the dog got so it took her forever to get the dog under control so i'm telling her you know don't mind your nails just get your dog before you know anything else ends up damaging so she ends up getting the dog to stop running wild eventually um she apologizes for everything and even offers to help clean and you know pay for the damaged products like you could tell she was genuinely sorry but it's like sis why did you 
think it was ever okay to bring your dog without telling me first. Like, the fact that you prevented telling me shows that you, you know, like, that was something you probably shouldn't have done in the first place. But I tell her, no, it's okay. I'm just going to have to ban you from booking with me and cancel your appointment for today. And, you know, she totally respected that. Um, I even offered to soak off the few nails she had on before she left and that was it. My friends were telling me I should have made her pay for the mess, but I wouldn't feel right taking money from her. I just did what I felt was best, which was to ban her and that's my choice. So yeah, let me know your opinions on this. Do y'all think I did the right thing? Was I wrong for banning her? Be sure to comment down below, like this video so I know to post more videos like these, and most importantly, subscribe. Now for those of y'all wondering why the story time was so short, I was getting, well I wasn't getting a lot of these requests, but a few of y'all, I've been reading y'all comments. If y'all think I don't be seeing y'all silly comments, I definitely do be seeing them. <laughs> now let me stop. But a few of y'all been saying to make the story time shorter or... Some of y'all was even saying y'all didn't like hearing me. But then some of y'all love my story times and how long they be. You be like, oh, can you make longer ones or can you make more? I don't know. Y'all be confusing me. So I guess I'm going to just switch it up. Sometimes I'm going to do it short. Sometimes I'm going to do it long. But yeah, this is for the girls that was telling me to pipe down. So thank them. But I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Enjoy the rest.
heart and try to gnaw to you. Tell me where your mind is, drop a pen, what the court in you. You might have a fortune, but you lose me, you still won't be misfortune, you nigga. Tell me, the blood's got you just fucked up in the head. For those of y'all that have made it this far throughout the video, spam some pink hearts down below because y'all know y'all some real ones. I really just wanted to get on here and update you guys on where I've been. A lot of you guys have been asking. So for those of you that do not know, I am a senior in high school. So these past couple of months have been very hectic for me due to college applications, which is why I've been very inconsistent. I try to upload at least once a month. I really don't like to leave you guys hanging for that long, but because you know i've already committed to a college and things like that i can now get a more consistent schedule going on i plan to up at least upload every two weeks but the goal is every once a week but i start college in the summer so plans things are going to change but i will update you guys but yeah that's pretty much what have been going on with my life for those of y'all that were concerned but i do plan to upload more consistently y'all a lot of y'all have also been asking for a face reveal and I've decided that I'm going, I will eventually of course show my face to you guys, you know. You guys are my supporters and I, anything you guys ask for, I'm going to provide that for you guys. But I'm going to do a face reveal at 10k subscribers, that is my decision. I'm also going to do a giveaway at 10k. So pretty, I'm Captain P, I write the president, Cap President. Push P. Portuguese on her knees, mopping down a P. She Shit, with my hand on my dick, and the crib this bitch turned to a strip shop. That's what it is, though. 